Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Oh man, it's been, it's literally gonna rain all spring. Like, literally. Um, I had this problem during last summer too, where it just rains and rains and rains. Normally it doesn't really bother me because I actually like the rain, but the problem is I'm trying to get, I was trying to get a screenshot last episode, uh, you know, trying to make a nice screenshot for the thumbnail, and it just wouldn't stop raining. So, um, I'm gonna check on my, uh, food for the uh oh they are laying eggs i put two animal feed for the chickens and one animal feed in here for the goose and they don't seem to be eating it which is fine by me i wouldn't eat it either it looks like poop so <laughs> all right guys today we are going to complete some quests we're going to try and get another person i have to make a new house as well uh you know here's the thing guys you see here's the thing i need a house if i want someone to move in okay that's just that's just the simple fact of the matter. Okay, I tried moving people around these houses. I tried getting women to live with women and went men to live with men because I don't want anyone having babies because babies take up a population spot, and it's just like ugh, it sucks. It really sucks when kids take up a population spot because they're not going to be producing anything for like what years and years and years. Um, so that sucks. Speaking of kids, mine is one years old, so that's cool. And um, yeah, also. I'm on my fifth year or something like that, and it's weird because my character is only 22. So 18, 19, 20, 21. I guess that's four years. So it's not too far off. I'm a, am I on my fourth year or fifth year? No, I'm on my sixth year. So 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. I think I should be like 24, but I don't know. Whatever, 22. Being younger is better. We should work like that in real life, right? All right, so what I'm going to be doing today is, yeah, we need to build a new uh, a new house. I was going to wait because I was like, I don't want to build a new house. I mentioned this last episode. I want to wait until I can make the proper house, right? But the problem is we're not even at 7,000 yet. This is probably going to be within range of being built, you know, within a few episodes. Or, but it could be as much as, you know, five or six episodes. I'm not really sure, you know, how quickly that's going to go up. So we'll just make the house and then we'll just remit. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Okay, so I have the house over there. I forget what I need to make it. Actually, let's see what I make it. Should we? You know what? I was gonna make the new house out of stone, but that no, I'm not gonna make the new house out of stone. I'm gonna make it out of cheap material, um, because why make it out of stone when I'm just gonna be tearing it down eventually anyway? Um, although stone is not that expensive, and I have a lot of stone, but I'm assuming I'm gonna need even more stone when I make the proper houses. So I'm gonna cheap out on this. I'm gonna build like a you know very temporary house. I feel like. What, what is this, the end of spring? I feel like by the end of this year, or the beginning of next year, I'll probably be on to real houses, you know? It's hard to tell how, you know, how long it takes for those for those um, skills to go up. Uh, check this out. I made it like 200 firewood. I was so tired of dealing with making firewood, so I made like 200, so that'll last a while. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the sticks and grab the straw. And then we're going to go out there. We're going to build that. I got to build the house before I go out because I might want to recruit someone on the spot if I find someone I really like. So we have to uh, build this right now. I didn't bring any logs with me, but that's okay. We'll get everything but logs in here first, and then we'll do the logs last. And then uh, once we're ready to go, I'll go out and I'll do a few quests. You know, a little quest here, a little quest there. Who knows? And then after that, I will start chatting people up. Uh, you guys in the comments want me to start, like, working on my diplomacy. See, the thing is, I find talking to the people, the townspeople just kind of not as fun as the other things to do in the game. I don't really find it that interesting, to be honest. And it's it's kind of unrecordable, because, I don't know, I just, you know... I don't know, I don't think it's that interesting. But, um, you know, I, I'll do it here and there, but it's going to be tough for me personally to get my... Um, to get my, uh, my, my, what is it, diplomacy skill up? Because I, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> if there's one thing you should know about me, if I don't want to do something, I don't do it. So, well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try and get some of that going. But And there's I don't think there's any way to get the... Well, there, there's no way to get any kind of skill unless you do it yourself. So it's not like I can have other people doing this for me. And my diplomacy skill is lacking. And there's some pretty decent diplomacy stuff in there, too. Like, less taxes and better prices and, you know, all that kinds of good stuff. Um, I would also like to be able to build roads in this game. Proper roads. Not like, not like the kind of roads we're building with the... Um, you know, like we do right now with the, uh, what do you call it? With the, with the, the farming stuff. I want real roads because I was going to build a, I was going to build a road out here, but the fact of the matter is I, I was going to build the road with, you know, the farm, the, the fields, right? But I can't do it because it doesn't go on the proper plane. You know, the fields are, they, they can only go on one plane and that's it. And if you build your houses, like if you build your town, 
on the opposite part of that plane, then you're kind of up the creek. Can't really use... I, I want to just be able to make roads. I think it's going to be very important. Well, for me. Okay. The house is now done. Um, the house, you got to kind of come around here to get to it. I put the door on this side. I mean, if I could make roads, I could make this look really good. But I can't, unfortunately. Oh, boy, I want roads. All right, well, let's see if there's any quests on the map that we'd be interested in doing. All right, there we go. Switch over to quests. Um, oh, good. Someone in my town has a quest. Very good. Where else? Is that it? Really? Only one quest on the entire map. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, let's double check just because that, that is very odd. Oh, there we go. We got another one in Hornica. That means I'm going to have to fight some wolves. Freaking wolves. All right, well, let's do the quest here first because I take care of my people first, obviously. Now, who is this quest for? All right, looks like someone in the barn. One of the barn ladies. So people are telling me that your your workers will level up, and it takes like a couple of years, right? But they will eventually level up, right? So what I'm wondering is, if they will level up, all right, do I have to keep them on the same duty? Like, do I have to keep the person doing the same thing for them to level up? Like, someone was telling me, oh, yeah, if you put someone on, like, farming, perhaps, right, for, like, two years straight, they'll level up. But do they have to stay on farming, or can I move them around? I mean, honestly, in a perfect world, these stats would come with secondary stats. It shows how much they're leveling up. Like, like hypothetically speaking right here... um, the farmer, whatever the farming stat, right? It's a four. But then there'd be another level of, like, basically an experience bar for farming, right? So that, that's what I would like personally. But I don't know if they have to keep doing the same things forever in order to level up. I hope not. Because I do enjoy switching my farmers on and off. All right. What can I help you with? I could actually use your help. I'm thinking about expanding my fields. But there are a lot of trees in the area. Can you? Okay, she wants me to cut down some trees. Okay. I've had this one before. All right, my axe broke, but I'm now one tree away. Now, this is a really cool quest, too, because... Um, and no, it's not about the Dynasty Rep. Although, five Dynasty Rep is pretty decent for a quest um, of this kind. But look at the 50 farming. That's what makes it awesome. And the cool thing is you don't even have to chop up the trees. Like, And it's not that I don't want to chop up the trees. It's just I don't want to drag the... I don't want to be dragging the, the freaking logs all over the place. That would just be awful. All right, are we going to go... Down to Horny Town, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, Hornica. <laughs> I love Horny Town. Let's go. Um, all right. I don't have what I need to defend myself down there. So why don't I um why don't I make some spears and we'll we'll head on down there. I am going to have an episode where I'm going to make spears and bows, and um, I don't know when that's going to be, but I am going to make one. I just um it just depends on when, when it happens. Uh, it's going to be fairly fairly soon, but. Alright, so let's go ahead and make four spears. Sounds pretty good. And we're heading to Horny Town. So you might be wondering why I want to, like, get someone so bad today. Like, oh, we gotta get somebody. We gotta get somebody. I want to finish this quest. Um, if you look right here, I'm actually at my... Wait, how am I not at my build limit? Hmm, that's kind of odd. I was 19 of 20 before I finished that house. Maybe... Well, okay, hold on. I was 19 of 20 after I put down this simple house but it was before i finished it the house wasn't done hmm, that's interesting i was at 19 to 20 when the before the house was finished but i did put down the blueprint you know this part right here that takes the eight logs i don't know it's kind of weird anyway i'm pretty much at my build limit and if i get one more person i finish this quest which would just be awesome it's going to give me a butt ton of freaking uh dynasty rep and it will also uh allow me to build more buildings which is what i really want um, I don't know what I'm going to be building moving forward, though. Um, I've built almost everything. I think I'm getting pretty close with that with that farming tech. Um, another 300 farming. You know what? 300 farming's a lot. Um, I'd like to get that food storage three. Uh, let's see what else I get. What, let's see what else really quickly. Um, and we already made the fishing hut. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah. I need to make the sewing, too. Yeah, that's for sure. The sewing, too. Um, we, oh, we can make a tavern, too. Okay. All right, we can make breads and stuff in there. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I've got a lot of st okay, I've got a lot of stuff to build. What about in here? Yeah, we need seventy five hundred points, and then at ten thousand points, we'll get the research storage three. And now I gotta try and make it through Wolf City, Wolf Town. Yeah, Wolf Town. Gotta get through Wolf Town. If I'm gonna get through Wolf Town, I need to be on a well, well fed diet of potage. All right, I need to come through here on a full stomach. 
Because it, it's going to get bad here. There's always wolves. Always wolves, man. And you know it's funny? That you have a better chance of avoiding the wolves getting off the uh, pathway. Right, pretty pretty good with uh, Horny Town right now. But it's, it's weird, though, because I'm not seeing wolves yet. I thought I would have seen some wolves. Usually I see them on the uh, pathway, so I just, like, head straight south. If, it, if the path goes south, then I go with the path. If it doesn't, then I go where I want. I go where I want! Alright, so we got one wolf over there. Oh, boy. And he's dead. And is his buddy coming in? Nah, his buddy's running away. So as, as much... You know, I usually see multiple wolves down here. I see quite a few, but I only ever get attacked by one. Huh. Man, Wolf Town needs to, you know, get some kind of strategy going because they're doing that, like, uh, movie thing where, like, where, you know, you got the awesome, you know, karate guy and you have, like, 12 enemies, but they only come in them, they only come at them one at a time, you know? So th that's not going to do anything for the wolves. You can't come at me one at a time. What the hell am I saying? Don't, don't anybody tell the wolves that. The last thing we need is wolves organizing. So the good news is that I made, the good news is I made it to Horny Town. The bad news is I'm freaking dirty as hell. All right, what do you guys got? Oh, God. Is it just me or are these people's stats get... Oh, ooh, that's not bad. Seven crafter, but I don't really care about crafters. Like, are crafted... Like, I don't see any reason a crafter would be good. Although, five... You know, five, um... Extraction? Extraction? Is it called extraction? I always forget what it's called. Um, extraction. Yeah, five extraction is pretty good, too, but... I don't know. I f I, the thing is, I want to get the person today... But I also want to be somewhat, you know, um, picky about who I take, you know? I just want to take anybody. Alright, save. And what about you, bud? Can I help you? Can you help me with something? Of course. How can I help you? Hello there. Wait, what? <laughs> what did I miss? Animal overcrowding. Ooh, I heard, this is, I heard people don't like this quest. I don't know anything about it. Animal overcrowding. The number of those animals is too high. I must try to reduce it to restore the balance. What the hell? All right, so I just asked on Discord, and they said that when you get the overcrowding quest, right? I, I reloaded, by the way, so I don't have it right now. When you get the overcrowding, overcrowding quest, it'll show up on here. It'll tell you, like, information. And the fact that it didn't tell me any information, like, I'm guessing, I'm guessing what animals to kill and stuff. They said it's bugged and don't take it. So that's what I'm going to do. And that looks like all the quests I can do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to some places. I'm going to kind of look around and kind of see if there's anyone to recruit. I might just recruit someone with average skills at this point because I really want to finish this quest. And I, I think I can make people homeless or something. Um, I think I could just kick people out of homes. I'm sure there's a way to kick people out of town. I just don't know how to do it. Um, so if worse comes to worse and I get someone with average skills and I get someone that's better, I can always kick that extra person out somehow. Uh, people told me I could do it. I just... I just don't remember how they said to do it. Because I don't want to kick anyone out of town. I end up liking people. But we got to finish this quest. Alright, I'm not really sure what happened. The quest just rolled over. I didn't recruit anybody. They had a baby. They had a freaking baby. Okay. Oh, man. I can't believe it. So that just that takes up population. That kid ain't going to be useful for at least 14 years. When did the kids start working in this game? Oh, and his stats suck too. Oh, can I kick the whole family out? Like... <laughs> I, mm, I'm gonna have to look. Maybe there is a way to keep people from like living together, like uh, males and females. But I don't see of any way to do it. Um, I tried to do it earlier. Here, I'll show you. Come this simple as male, female. Kick her out. No, that just takes her off her duty. Um, is there anybody to kick her out? Uh, remove. No. Um, can I have someone else move? It's kind of weird. Like I. I Press the kicker out. It just took our profession off. Um, let's try and get a guy to move in there. Oh, okay. So you can get men. You can get men to live with men. All right, good. Thank God. I mean, listen. I got nothing against kids, but damn, man. Like, your kid's gonna be freaking just a a leech on, on society. <laughs> I'm an awful person. Not really. I don't want to wait 14 years for this kid to do something. <laughs> All right, there's the new family. That's fine. I guess I'll leave that alone. Let's uh, have another guy move in here. There we go. All right. And do we have any homeless people? See, people automatically move in other places. So let's take a look. So we got two people in here. See, look, men and women again. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Yeah, men and women. I don't think, I don't know if there's any way to... Oh, so there's two men. Okay. Maybe I just don't have the right amount of men and women. Um, oh, hold on. Here we go. Maybe I could get someone to move into this house. Assign tenant. Uh, you go in there. Okay. Now let's take another look. Man. It says, still says two, but man. Men and women. I wish I could rename the houses, right? This is what I got so far. Um, by the way, I looked in this one and I was thinking, oh, men and women still living together. But no, they have to live together because they have a kid. So, all right. So I had a kid and this family had a kid. But we're going to stop. We're going to stop it right now. All right. This this, this is not going to go on in my kingdom. <laughs> I just <laughs> I asked the Discord and I just found out. I, I can't. You can't even make this up. The kids won't even work till 18. Can you believe that? Medieval times, the kids won't do anything till 18. I was working at 14 and I grew up in the 80s. I mean, come on now. 80s, 90s, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so this first house is a dude. The second house is a family. It's got three people. It's a family. Third house is two dudes. That one's a family. That's my house. And then this is for the lady. All right? So that's what we got so far. Hopefully we don't see any more uh, kids. I'm glad it gave me the quest update, but, you know, um, I don't know. I, just, I think the kids should be... Maybe, maybe, maybe the kids could add to the overall town's happiness. Like, maybe the town gets happy that it's expanding and stuff. Maybe kids could not count against population. I don't know. There's a lot of different things you could put in. Maybe they could not have to wait until they're 18 to work. Maybe you could, like, you know, you could do menial tasks with them at 10 and really make, maybe show them. Didn't kids in the medieval ages, like, learn to trade at, like, 14? Or am I just think I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that stuff up. Okay. So, um, I did take a, because I was messing around with that, I was taking a bunch of people off duty. Because I would come to the house and I'd be like, X, to remove them from the house. No, it just removes their profession. So give me a minute and let's get these professions uh, squared away. Okay, so first things first, we, we are going to need some uh, some farmers. Now, I've been told that it seems to me that from what people are telling me is if you keep one person on a duty, that's how they level up. I don't know that for sure. That could be totally wrong. I don't know, but that's what people are saying. So I'm going to appoint one farmer. And see if she can get the thing done, you know, by herself. So I don't have to appoint two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the barn. And we are going to... Okay, so she's the... she's Wait, she's the mother, but she's also a farmer? Oh, okay, that's not good. Wait, should I leave her on farming? Will she farm? Hold on, maybe she'll farm as a mother. I don't think she will. Nope, she's a mother. And she'll be damned if she's going to be out there toiling in the fields anymore. Alright, you take care of the young, and We'll see you in a couple of years. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I, I put one farmer on the farm. I don't think there's any chance in hell she's going to finish this. Okay, she's got to reap this. She's got to reap that. She's got to pick this. And she's got to pick that. Now, I've got two choices here with the farmer. i got three choices. I could put a second farmer on to help. Or I can help myself. Now, the reason I don't help myself, I can easily pick this stuff really quickly. I just boom, boom, boom. The whole two fields will be done in like two seconds. The thing is, I, in the past, I feel like helping the farmers has bugged them out in the past. I'm trying not to bug them out. So I'm gonna, I'm not, I really don't want to do that. Now I could put another person on, but like I said, I, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of people telling me that it seems the best way for people to level up their skills is not to be switching them around too much. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave her alone and I'm gonna see if she can do it all. And I'll take the loss. If, so, if she doesn't get some of this stuff done, so be it. I'll take the loss. Um, another problem is if I put two farmers on, then I want to leave them on. Because like I said, people are telling me you don't want to be switching stuff around too much. Um, and then when there's two farmers on, there's going to be so many times where they're going to have nothing to do. Because like there's only like so many times a year. Like th there's This is the only time a year where they'll have to, they'll have to harvest all four crops. So I'm going to leave her alone and see what she can get done. I'll take the loss on some stuff. But I'm going to leave her alone. Okay, guys, so when I got the quest update, you might might be interested in this. When I got the quest update for Chapter 8, and I came to Chapter 9, it said get a wife and get an heir. And it said zero of one on both. And I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, they want me to get an heir. They want me to get a wife. I already have one. My game's screwed. Nope. If this happens to you, F5 to save, quick save, F9 to auto, to quick load, and you'll be back and everything will be fine. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we're pretty good now. I think what I'm going to do now is um, I'd still like to get another person. Uh, let's see where there's quests. I'd like to see where there's quests. All right, so i got a quest up here. 
And another quest in Hornica. All right, I'm not going to go to Hornica again because I'm getting sick of going down that place. Uh, but I am going to come up here to the north. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do the quest and I'm going to look for people to recruit. I want to recruit more people. I'm going on a recruiting spree. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I might just take people who are subpar because at this point, like, I'm just waiting for good people. And it's just like, why? Like, what's the difference, right? Um, I think I definitely want a better... I think I want another farmer that's good. And I definitely want excavation skill. I think farming excavation is what I'm looking at at this point. Um, so let's see if we can find some people. Okay, so I hit uh, this town right here. Um, there was someone in there with some pretty decent excavation skill, but like one farming. I kind of need a farmer more, to be honest. Um, I do have a lot of excavators already. So uh, we're going to come over here. We're going to do this quest. And we're going to quick save. And let's see what this person's got this to say. Can I help you with something? I need help from a strong man. I will pay for it. Oh, hold on there. I'm married, lady. Um, consider me interested. Oh, this guy's a dog. I have to feed my family, but the food went missing. I have coin, but not time. Okay. Well, there you go. I think I just did this one the other day. I don't remember what she wanted for it, though. Let's take a look. Um, meat and berries. Oh, berries. See? Wait, I can actually do berries <laughs> for once. And you know what? Maybe I'll not sell them. I'll pick a bunch of them and I'll keep them for later. Although this is kind of a crappy reward. Um, I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll do it. Because I want to pick berries anyway. Alright, cool. Let's do this quest. Um, but before we go do the quest, let's see if there's anybody here worth recruiting. Alright, six farming. Six... Oh uh, yeah, that's not, that's not bad. And you're not too bad either. Um, let's talk to this person. See if we can recruit this person. Oh, I can't quit. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do the quest first because I can't. Usually what I like to do is I like to uh, quick save, you know, so I get the dialogue options I want. And if I don't, I just reload. But I can't do that. So I think I'm going to uh, do the quest just to make sure I can complete the quest because I'm pretty sure I can. But, you know, you never know. Um, so we're going to do that. And let's do this quest really quick. All right. That wasn't too bad. Um, I actually had some meat on me, which made it a lot easier. Found some berry bushes pretty quickly. And I killed a bison. Uh, I also killed a rabbit. I, I, um, the bison I was a little bit nervous about. Like, I gotta, I, I'm really leaning towards next video, making it all about the bow and the spear and just try, try, try new things, right? I'm definitely gonna, I'm 99% sure I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a bow next episode. Um, we will see though. Never 100%, right? I always change my mind from time to time, so we will see. Alright. Uh, that's not you, is it? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. You spinster. Come on now. Give me my reward. Okay. Thank you very much. Quest is now complete. Alright. Let's uh, let's try and recruit this person. Quick save. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Alright. So, she was really high in um, farming, right? Because that's what I was going for. So, I, mean, I don't think she's... She doesn't seem like a gossip lady. What a day I've been working nonstop. Okay. That seems to be her thing. Okay. That whole I've what a day I've been working nonstop thing has not worked for me yet with anybody. I don't think. Not that I can remember. So, um, yeah, let's reload and try it again. Oh, hold on a sec. There's another quest giver up here I just saw. Hold on. Yeah, let's do that quest. I'll, gra I'll grab her for sure if I can. If not, maybe we'll get her tomorrow. But yeah, another quest giver. You just got chopping trees like a boss. Can I help you with something? Not really, no. Are you sure? You seem very upset. I got an argument with the wife, and now she won't even... Now she doesn't even want to talk to me. Uh, maybe I could talk to her and convince her to forgive you. That seems kind of presumptuous. Hey, you don't know me, but I think you should forgive your husband. You would do that for a stranger? Thank you so much. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, it's this lady, huh? I'm gonna play marriage counselor? Alright, I guess she's not a spinster after all. Hello, fair lady. Hello, what do you want? I think you should make up with your husband. He misses you. Really? Really? I'm not even like take time to find... Okay, I'm going to take time here. And he sent some stranger to me instead of coming here himself. He's so lazy. Really? He's chopping down trees. It didn't really seem like a lazy thing. Um, I think talking to my wife would be a lot easier than chopping down some trees. But if you say so. I can't even remember the last time he prepared fruit pie for me. Continue. He used to do it once a week. Now he just comes back from work and goes straight to bed. Oh, how dare him go straight to bed after a hard day at work. <laughs> I couldn't convince your wife to come back. <laughs> she said that you that you became lazy. Something about fruit pie. <laughs> I love the dismissiveness 
of something about fruit pie. Like, who gives a crap about fruit pie? Anyway, and that she is angry uh, that you would send a stranger instead of talking to her yourself, which is pretty much what I said. Wait, you mentioned she. You mentioned fruit pie. That's it. I'm sure if I prepared it like I used to, she'd give me another chance. Stranger, I hate to ask for help again, but I need some ingredients to make the meal. Can you uh, get them for me? I have... I already have some, so I only need a few. All right. What do you need? What does this guy need for his fruit pie? Um, oh, berries. <laughs> no problem, bro. Here's your berries. Thank you. I have some coins stashed away uh, for emergencies, I think. Uh, you've earned it. Now I'm going to start cooking. Glad to help. Is that it? I didn't hear the like thing saying I got the quest done. Nope, I'm definitely not done. Wait for the next day. Really? Oh my god. I, I think maybe I'll sleep outside of this camp. Let me see if I can recruit this woman while I wait. Does it say 87? I got a 10, a 5, a 2, and then I think another 5. I don't know. I don't know how I got 87, but whatever. We got 87. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Recruited. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, let's go home. Come on. By the way, this is a little bug here. It's like a shadow bug. It goes away sometimes. Uh, well, it's it, it happens sometimes. It goes away all the time. Uh, messing around your shadows can get rid of it instantly. By the way, in case you were wondering. So is she going to follow me or... I don't know. Alright, well, you know what? I think I'm actually going to sleep outside this place. And next video, first thing we're going to do is we're going to finish up this quest line. I guess it says wait for the next day. I guess because like the next day they're going to be happy again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little campfire outside. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. And the first thing we'll do is we'll finish up that quest. And next episode, I'm really leaning towards making a bow. Possibly a pike. I don't know. We'll have to see what I can make. But it's going to be dope either way. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Take it easy.